morning, if you're new here, I'm Lauren and it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alright, today we're going to check out a video on this one's of Nature's Time Center's Homeland in Putin's doorstep. Wow, and shows up game changing brick artillery. Oh my god, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. I really, I can't really imagine like NATO. Uh, put in store step. All right, I can't wait to find out. Let's dive in. We're in the north of Finland where the temperatures have plummeted to around minus seven degrees and there's a very important reason we're here. It's for NATO's dynamic front drill where there are militaries from five different countries preparing for battles and working out the future of ammunition and it's the first time today that the British military... Okay, did you hear that? Militaries from five different countries preparing. Wow, this is amazing have filed the new Archer Howitzer gun. It replaces the AS-90s that were donated to Ukraine last year. The Archers came into Britain last September. It's taken over a year for troops to learn how to use them safely, to uh, understand how these new guns work. They have around double the range of the previous systems, which makes them far more of a threat on the battlefield in the future. These were taken in by the army last September. They're being fired for the first time here up in Lapland. And what these guns allow the British Army to do is to hit moving targets. They are the next generation of howitzer launchers and they are big beasts indeed. The newest members of NATO have also been here. They've been testing their K9 howitzer guns mounted on the back of vehicles on track, sort of like tanks that are now moved off uh, to my left about three kilometers to continue their drills. And those guns too uh, fire the same munition as many other howitzers across the NATO alliance. We've seen two K9 tanks uh, fire and then drive off for about three kilometers yeah, that way. You, you just, just saw, talk that through. Saw a basic uh, uh, firing precision action for the K9 self propelled howitzer. We did a shoot and scoot, we executed the fire mission and then did a survivability move and moved to the next uh, firing position. And just explain why is being able to do a shoot and scoot, fire and get off within a couple of minutes, why is that uh, so important? Uh, to, uh, to avoid the counter battery fire and counter battery uh, actions. It's uh, firing the standard 155mm high explosive shell and it has a pr pretty good uh, like a blast radius, radius and the, the, that's a shrapnel around your uh, firing. It's uh, most suitable for the, against the personnel and lightly armoured uh, vehicles. Finland, of course, has one of the largest artillery stocks of any NATO member, and that means that if there is war in the region, potentially at the border with Russia, only about 100 miles or so from here, that that stockpile Finland has could be incredibly important, not just for them, but for every military alliance member. Wow, guys, that was really incredible. Like, like five countries. Wow, that's really great. Like five NATO members. This is really amazing. Do let me know what you think about this. Write down the comment section. And also, don't hesitate to give this video a like, share, and subscribe for more. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. I'm your girl.